So, uh, I know it's still really fresh and you're really emotional and everything, but I mean, what do you feel went wrong and where were you not able to execute where maybe you thought you would be able to? I think the biggest thing is that I wasn't patient, you know. Um, we had 25 minutes to get it done and, and I was comfortable on the outside and uh, I should have stayed there a little bit longer and um, waited for her to give me um, the takedown and instead I, I reached for it and then we ended up in the, the clinch up against the cage um, more often than I would have liked and uh, that's, that was the, um, I think that was the determining factor in, in, in the fight for sure. Did you notice she seemed to have a pretty bad foot injury for like the last round or so? Did you notice that in there? I didn't notice that her foot was hurt, but I knew that I was checking her kicks with my knee, and it wasn't going to be too pleasant for her. <laughs> for sure. Last thing for me, um, I saw you when you left the cage had a really uh, nice moment with Holly. What did she say to you? She just said she knew it wasn't the outcome that I wanted, but it was. Um. She just said that it was a lot closer than, you know, what I probably feel like it is, you know, just in my heart. And that um, I'm still improving and it's still a step forward. I know that, um, you know, obviously the result that you, you didn't want, but the crowd was really supportive after uh, they were cheering for you and everything you're saying, they were just very supportive. Um, can you talk about what that means to you? <laughs> I don't think anybody um, steps into the octagon with the idea of losing, but just the fact that um, the crowd was still um, cheering and behind me, that it, it does, it fills my heart and uh, it lets me know that I'm on the right track. <laughs> that's fight game, that's life. Can't win them all. You got her back a couple times in those moments. Um, what do you feel you maybe could have done differently to sink in the choke? Or what did she do well in that scenario to get out of there? We were just both really sweaty. And, um, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's hard to sink those in when you're really sweaty and you got the gloves on and and we both want it. And uh, it was just, it was, uh, it was a fight. <laughs> it took you a long time to get to this moment. You put together some good wins. Um, I mean, I know it's probably really hard to think about the future right now, but is there any, you know, have you thought about anything that could come next week? No, this is, this was what I was focused on, you know, uh, and this is what I needed. What do you mean by that? You know, I just, I feel like everything happens for a reason, and I needed this fight in order to um, understand uh, how to move forward. Absolutely. It is, you know, um, the feeling of victory is addicting and the highs are super high and I always say this, the lows are really low and I think the hardest part is um, letting down all my coaches and, and uh, fans um, because of all the time that they've put into me, you know.